The loss of trees in the August 10th derecho will have a lasting effect on nature in eastern Iowa. For now, experts are still examining the loss to try and determine the true impact. Weather First meteorologist Rebecca Kopelman breaks down what losing a tree canopy can mean in this Iowa's News Now special report. 4,424,426. It seems to be the, the most severe tree loss I know of from a derecho. Nearly 4.5 million. That's the number of trees estimated to have been damaged or destroyed in the August 10th derecho across the state of Iowa. Especially when it comes to our own health and well being, there's a lot of data on the great things trees do for us. With the extensive tree loss comes impacts to the weather, environment, and wildlife. The trees are important for, for a lot of benefits. They help keep our cities cooler in the summer, they help clean our air some. Trees also play a really important role in slowing down rains. There's a lot of evidence that seeing trees um, reduces people's stress. The first thing that comes to mind is temperature. We all know you can feel the difference when you're standing under the cover of trees, but when you remove 70% of the tree canopy, like the loss we had here in Cedar Rapids. Some of this can be actually fairly significant. Uh, in the neighborhood of, of 20 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit difference from a shaded surface versus one that's that's un, unshaded. And that will translate to a difference of maybe two to four degrees Fahrenheit on average in the air temperatures. Trees also help cities when it rains. Slow and store water. And that's a, that has a large impact, especially on flash flooding. And as they slow the water down, another thing which is great is they clean that water. And um, it's so important for Iowa to have clean water. Most of our larger communities have surface drinking water. And when we lose those large workhorses that are slowing and cleaning our water, it um, has large financial impacts. They don't just clean water, but they clean air too. The loss of tree canopy is associated with um, a worsening of air quality locally. Uh, removal of air pollution is another, another thing that, uh, that trees do for us through the interception of airborne particulate matter, uh, like ash, you know, dust, smoke, things of that nature. It's tough to know how much of an impact this may have on people until we go through it. However, especially when we look at childhood asthma, for example, um, we can lower the costs of the care that it takes for childhood asthma if we continue to clean some of those larger air particulates. Um, and basically they rest on the surf, the surface of the leaf. And these trees aren't just important for humans, but provide for over 100 different insects, pollinators, and other animals. We're maybe not gonna see right away, but yeah, it will have a large impact on, you know, our birds, um, anything that use trees for shelter or for food source. While this may seem like a lot, it's really hard to know exactly what will happen until it does happen. Weather First meteorologist Rebecca Koppelman, Iowa's News Now. We can all do our part now by replanting trees. And Weather First meteorologist Sarah Flynn has a special report coming up soon, looking at the types of trees that were lost and how long it may take to establish a new tree canopy. You can see her report Monday night right here on Iowa's News Now.